Okay, guys, this is Margie, part two, and you can see her crying. We went through a lot on this one because we found out that when she was six years old, she fell off a swing and hit her head on a rock. She started to lose her vision. They thought she had a subdermal hematoma. This is where it all came from. Remember, she came in because she slipped and fell when she was older. She had a herniated disc, carpal tunnel, neck pain, knee pain, wanted to do surgery. Can you believe that? Can't sleep. Found my channel and decided to come in and give me a try. She had given up. So we're testing her with her knee coming down the stairs. She had trouble going up and down stairs. We also trained her how to have better balance on the balance board here. Again, here are x-rays. You can see how bad they are. We adjusted her and oh, you can no. see, went through a lot. Oh. Wow. See the eyes? <laughs> mm -hmm. She's nervous again. No adjustment today? Yeah, no adjustment. I know. I, oh. Wow. I'm sorry. Oh, John. That's where the problem was. I want to stand up. Stand up. Stand up. See now, now you know sort of where. The issue is coming from. This is why the right side's been hurting so much. Mm -hmm. Is because I've been kind of working at it a little bit. I've been going to low, low, low the whole time. Mm -hmm. And so this one in particular was probably the one that was the reason why the right side hurt every single time I adjusted mm -hmm. you. This is a good sign. I'm sorry it hurts, but this is okay. we're getting to the core of it. Okay, dice que este es un, una buena señal que está, que este le está yendo a la raíz de eso. Que ese es todo el problema. La, la, la. Wow. Cuando estaba pequeño me caí, me di un golpe ese, ¿no? Oh, sí. ¿A dónde? En un columbio jugándome así, se me soltó y me fui contra una piedra. ¿Y eso fue? ¿Cuántos años fue eso? Tenía como seis años. Cuando ella era seis años, ella se recuerda que estaba en el swing. Pero estaba de pie. Me subí. Y se me fueron las luces y me fui y me di con una piedra. With a rock, she, she hit that side. Se me puso todo esto verde. And all this went all green. Oh, yeah. oh my God, see. You know, it's so amazing when I do these adjustments, and I feel bad that she's in pain, mm -hmm. but when I do this, people have emotional connection and they'll remember mm -hmm. the moment that it happened because this pain is similar to what she felt 24 years ago. Okay. She feels like it's exactly the same pain. Oh my God, él dice que es sorprendente porque él, él lo ve que la gente cuando le hace ese tipo de ajuste la gente tiende a relacionar sus emociones del pasado entonces él dice que ese mismo, ese mismo dolor que tú sentiste, esa intensidad fue el mismo dolor que tú sentiste cuando te caíste So trust me, this left side won't hurt as much Este dolor, la izquierda no te va a doler tanto como la derecha No pain, right? A poquito. Poquito, compared to the right side. Yeah. Yeah. No pain in the process. Okay. Eh, paro cinco segundos. Changa. Respiro por la nariz. Suelto por la boca. Camino cinco, treinta por ciento menos de lo normal. Ask her how this feels different. Does it feel different at all? Is it something different now? Sí, como más suelto el cuello. No me duele cuando hago la changa así. No pain when she do the changa and have one more, more even more relaxed. More relaxed. Uh -huh, relaxed. So everybody on the camera understands that she doesn't normally drive very much because she has anxiety on the road. Uh -huh. So I told them to drive this weekend because my work makes people more relaxed. How'd that go? Oh, sí, sí, porque cuando salí del parqueo que yo te tuve, tú sabes que me voy a veces yo y me sentí. So she doesn't feel scared to drive anymore? No, me dio miedo. No, me puse nervioso. Pero ahora, camino acá, venía atencionada y sí tenía el dolor. O sea, ahí tengo el dolor ahora. Today she drove from home here. Oh yeah, and how'd that go? She felt good, but the pain came back a little bit. But what about the mental? What about the psychological part of it? Did she get scared in the freeway, or the cars, street? You know, driving around and making her scared. Yes, I was next to her. 
Yeah, but I mean, but again, the, how is her anxiety? She feels fears and a little bit tension because I'm next to her. If he, she was by herself, she she would be okay. Oh, oh right no, side. no, no, no. Espera, papanda. Luis. Ya me duele. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Yeah, I saw a big reaction. Mm -hmm. So this may be the last time I can do it this week. Because if she if she gets too scared, mm -hmm. she won't want to do it anymore. But I want to make sure I at least get two in a row. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> she just instantly tightens up. Yeah. Pain right here, huh? Mm -hmm. There by there? Yeah. See. Okay. Put your head towards me, Moss. Good, Moss. Oh, yeah. No, no. No, amor, levantame. Levantame, levantame. Levantame. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I'm too much. I'm too much. Like I said, I want to make sure I got one more. Um, <laughs> so I know we're on the right path. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why she's still so nervous, because she knew it. Mm -hmm. Subconsciously, her body, yeah, her body knew. Exactly. Este es el que más me duele. Este es el que si no soporto el dolor. How's the knee? ¿Cómo sientes la rodilla? Sí, la siento bien. Delicioso. No. <laughs> That's my new word. <laughs> okay, uno más. Exhala. Good. I know. I know. Oh, ya no más. This is uh, one of the most painful things I do. Very painful. I'm not going to adjust anything. I'm just going to use. I'm just going to push on muscle. Mm -hmm. 
you know, when I push on here, it hurts, it's going to hurt more. Okay. It'll probably make you cry a little bit. No. Just, just try. You'll see. I'll stop if I have to. I'm not going to adjust anything, but just muscle. Por eso, pero si digo ya, ya. When she says stop, stop. Stop. Right there. Yeah, 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 no more, no more. Breathe, respira. In the nose, no more, the no wrist, the wrist, the wrist. No puedo. In the wrist. No, the wrist, the wrist, the wrist, the wrist. No puedo más. Dos más, dos más. Uno más. Ya. Ay, no, eso duele mucho. No, 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 es un dolor diferente. See, I'm just gonna push on it just like I, I'm just gonna push it like this. Okay. Okay, good. Ay, no, no, si duele. Ay, no, 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 yo no quiero más. Ya no quiero más. Is that from pain or scared? Because I know how you pushed. Dolor. Really? Wow. Ya yo no quiero más. Okay, okay, okay. No more, no more. Si. Muchas veces lo que sucede es cuando la gente tiene un problema de mandíbula, hace esa fricción de los dientes que genera todo ese dolor en el Pero yo fricciono últimamente, que yo como no fricciono, sino yo hago como. O sea, me levanto, o sea, yo estoy consciente y a veces lo hago, pero en el sueño yo no siento. Sí, 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 her response to that TMJ work that, that I did over here by saying that her feet feel different and all that kind of, that's exactly what I look for in um, a response that tells me we were exactly in the right spot because it changed her whole posture yeah remember posture is everything and if I can make a change by doing something small like that and seeing a direct result that's exactly what I want a little better than before huh Mejor, mejor piquito. Mejor, 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 mejor. Sí. Okay. Good. Turn piquito. <laughs> 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 Amor, yo creo que ponme cada me siento, no sé, siento como los pies en el aire. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. See, she instantly lifts her shoulder when she's on the right side. She's like, don't move, exactly. Right here. Try it right there. Good. And let her ear just fall to her right shoulder. How much? Como seis, cinco. Seis, cinco, so. No los presiono. Just relax, open up. And then respira in uh, profunda nariz. You're doing fine, that's it. And a little less pain this time, actually. Mm. Good. That means I think we got the adjustment a little bit last time too. We don't must. Good. A little better than last time, huh? Yeah. Even though I didn't hear a crack on the TMJ work, you can see that she's obviously changed. It, it changed the spasm in there. Just open your mouth a little bit, just a little bit. There you go. Good. Good. Speed up. Uh, I'm going to push on her sinuses, just two spots, just breathe through your nose. Okay. This is painful, I know. It should be less than the jaw. That's it. Nice. Profunda. Good. Uno más. Cuarta. Ya bajo. Cuando. De olio como un seis por ahí. So what we're doing, guys, is we're trying to push her sinuses back into spot so that she can get air up into her nose. One more. 
Good. You see her kind of getting all Como flushed. Seis también. Yeah, still painful. Good. All done. That's total. My favorite patients always bring you food. I'm always trying to encourage this on my channel. Uh, and so, <laughs> what did you guys bring me here? What is this? That's called huevo perico, no calentado con carne asada y huevo perico. Viene con okay, eggs, steak. Eight steak. And what is this thing again? Uh, they call it cornbread. Cornbread? Yeah. We have some empanadas over here. Empanadas de pollo, mm -hmm. chicken empanadas. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So, and the other one, yes, the other one is different too. Okay, let's take a look. So, what is this one now? This is they call it uh, arepa y chocolo. Sweet is bread. sweet bread. cornbread. Uh -huh. Sweet cornbread with cheese. Um, when I do oh, butter. Okay. What kind of cheese is that? Uh, it's, uh, it's, I, I don't know the name in English. Okay, what's this, this one over here? It's, it's really good. This is the veggie eggs with the cornbread, cheese cornbread, this mm. cheese and And this is all Colombian food, right? All Colombian food, yes. And you said this is pretty traditional, pretty close, huh? Pretty traditional mm -hmm. for breakfast in Colombia, <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bueno, mi experiencia en estas dos semanas ha sido super buena, buenísima. Delicioso. Sí, delicioso. My only Spanish Todos mis dolores que yo venía trayendo, pues... Hasta el día de hoy puedo decir que voy bien, salí, salgo bien de aquí, eh, muy contenta, muy feliz porque pues él ha hecho un excelente trabajo conmigo y nada, puedo decir que excelente. Lo que se me ha hecho más difícil eh, en el proceso es como aprender a coger la postura, el estar con la posición correcta y mantener mi cabeza o al nivel que debe ser porque pues yo traía una postura muy mala y pero hasta el momento ya siento que ha sido se me ha hecho fácil ya un poco más fácil no está pero todavía se me olvida pero lo mantengo siempre pendiente al, para poder seguir corrigiendo eso que tengo sobre ese ajuste que me da como si es un dolor y es algo emocional porque lloro como una niñita chiquita Eh, es un problema que yo tuve cuando estaba muy pequeña, tenía como unos 6, 7 años. Eh, yo tuve un golpe del lado derecho en mi cara, así en esta parte, y pues nunca me lo trataron, nunca me lo trataron ni nada. Entonces, ahora que él me estuvo haciendo, tratándome, eh, fue un dolor muy fuerte eso. Entonces, eh, eso va relacionado al problema que tuve con mi niñez. Entonces. Esa fue lo que más yo pude sentir dolor, pero es por algo que ya venía desde muy niña. Ok, y mi estilo de manejar eh, ha cambiado, yo puedo decir que un 100% porque yo antes me mantenía muy tensa, muy como una mala posición. También aprendí eso, posición en el carro, cómo debo coger el volante. Entonces, para mí ha sido un 100% y ya me relajo, ya no me dan esos nervios que me daban antes. Eh, mi esposo también ya se relaja, ya me ve más suelta y ya confía más en mí. When she was driving, she was all relaxed. She was more confident in herself that I can even feel it. I used to hold the uh, the thing when she was driving. I was a passenger because I was looking. I was nervous. She get me nervous when she was driving, and and sometimes it gave me headaches. But yesterday it was completely different. I felt like the energy that she was all, all relaxed that made me relax. Oh, no, yo pienso que ya <coughs> a comparación de antes un 100% bien, o sea, porque el dolor que mantenía antes era un dolor constante todo el tiempo, tiempo y ya ahora hasta el momento ya, o oh, también ya, ¿puedo decir que en porcentaje? Sí, porcentaje. También un 100% acumula. Yeah, dolor de pecho. No, ya se me quitó también y el de los hombros un track track tenía aquí. No, ya no me duele, ya también puedo abrir, ya me he dado cuenta can, la botella. En la parte de abajo el dolor también ya no lo siento. Yeah. Ha sido mejor. How is your knee now? ¿Cómo está tu rodilla ahora? Súper bien. No siento Super el dolor ni nada. How's your sleep? ¿Cómo está tu dormida? La calidad del sueño. También 100%. Caigo ahí, it, no siento. It, 100%. 100%. And delicious. Delicioso. <laughs> she always comes delicioso. Like, so every day she comes like, how's your sleep? She goes, delicioso. Delicioso. <laughs> That's what she did every morning. These guys have been wonderful. Uh, I always tell you guys to have an open mind. They've had the most open mind, great communication. Uh, we've spent a lot of time talking more than probably I should, but they really took to this and they really tried. And again, there were some ups and downs, but they tried. That's all I ask you to do when you guys come out here. Try, 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 and you'll be successful. Primero que todo, pienso que 
el doctor es una excelente persona eh, y le da a uno esa, ¿cómo se dice? Esa confianza. confianza y a pesar de que al comienzo es uno se pone nervioso, bueno, yo, me pasa, eh, pienso que desde el que comencé hasta que terminé, aunque sentía esos nervios, siempre, nunca fallé, o sea, siempre ahí, ahí, porque él siempre da como esa seguridad de lo que él hace y lo transmite a uno y uno se da cuenta de que es así, entonces eh, para mí ha sido excelente haber estado aquí con él, compartir con él, eh, puedo decir que aquellas personas que quieran venir y tratarse con él va a ser Nice. Yeah, one thing I want to add that we've been so many doctors that the, the diagnose from then they say like that's the new way of your life. With, living with the that's pain. That's right. They said they were going to be like this forever. The other doctors said just get used to being in the pain the rest of your life. And we gave up. Outdoors activity was not outdoor activity for us. And then looking with uh, working with you, is, uh, you gave us hope to have a normal life even though she has some herniated discs, even though she has a right knee surgery. That's right, You were they were talking about surgery for her yeah. as an option, right? An option. So it limits our way to live life. Uh, yeah, I forgot, life. I forgot they said that they were so They were so distraught by the doctors telling them not they can't get any better that they stopped even looking. They stopped even trying to get better for a couple of years. Yeah. And then they just found me like, well, let's just give somebody else a try, you know? And they had tried chiropractic, they had tried everything. everything. And so uh, I'm glad they came. And this is why I love my videos, guys. And this is why I ask you guys when you come in, you don't always have to do a video, but I ask people to come in to do them because, you know, this helps people out there. It shows them that there's hope and that. You know, you don't have, all chiropractors are not the same, all medical doctors are not the same. It doesn't mean just because somebody says you're not going to get help doesn't mean you can't try something else. And I hope this helps you guys find help out there. Totally agree. Good. I appreciate all yeah. that, guys. When she fell, when she was six years old, we talked about this earlier, mm -hmm. I guess her whole side of her face was black and blue. And they thought she was losing her vision back then. Yeah. And so they didn't care about pain, they just cared that she was losing her vision. Yeah. And so her vision came back, so they just didn't even treat her. Never got any treatment. The only thing they were worried about was that if they were going to heat subdural hematoma, that she may have to cut her head open and drain her brain. You know, they, she doesn't know this, but that's what they were looking for. And since the vision came back, they were like, okay, she's fine. But she hasn't been fine in 24 years. Yes. Incredible. No treatment. No treatment. And so this is why she's so upset. This is why it's so painful. And this is why it's so difficult because of this radical injury she had when she was six. Not much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still mejor? Si. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I touch it when you touch yeah. it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't like it, that's for sure. Good. The amazing part about this is that since we started working on our jaw, I think it was actually the thing that really helped her the most. It's more of a mouth breather than I gave her credit for in the beginning. And so we want to make sure we give her sinuses every opportunity to change here so she can start breathing through her nose more. 